What's good, YouTube? We're going live with some Ocarina of Time randomizer. If you want to see more like this, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notifications. Don't forget to join my socials. Those are linked down below. Don't forget, you can also support the channel further for becoming a channel member from as little as 99 pence per month here in the UK. Let's get into this. Right, let's chill on some OOT rando. So, this is actually Triforce Hunt rando. So, we can either go and beat Ganon or collect 20 pieces of the Triforce. But. There are a lot of options in play here, guys. We have randomized almost everything. <laughs> Except for pots. I've not put pots on. I can't be bothered with that. So, don't get me wrong. Pot sanity. A lot of fun. I'm just not in the mood for that today. So, we're going to do some normal OOT rando. Now, well, normal OOT rando with trifle sun. Okay, there's a big chest. On oh, a heart chest. Okay. But hopefully you guys are doing okay. Hey, Kim, how's it going? Oh, we got a piece of the Triforce earlier. Okay, fair. Ooh, heart container. I'll take that early on. Hey, Jade, how's it going? Wow. <laughs> Nook capacity. Okay. It's kind of a wild start. I'm not going to lie. Uh, a nut and sticks tracked on this tracker. By the looks of it now. All right, fair. But I've had a busy day at work. I also now know why I've been having trouble multi-streaming. Uh, turns out my CPU is dying. Uh, so my CPU has got an issue that a lot of AMD processors from the same generation got. Which mine's only just having it now. So basically, uh, how can I explain? So a PC has uh, like you know multiple components. CPU, GPU, RAM. Well, my CPU has what's called a dead memory channel. So... It's only detecting half of the RAM in my PC. I've got 32 gigs. It's only detecting 16 of it. Or correction, the, the, the motherboard's detecting 32. The CPU is only using 16 gigs of that. On top of that, it's also heavily hampering my performance to the point where my CPU right now is running at 100% capacity. And this is just streaming to YouTube. So uh, that's fun. So I've now got to buy a new processor, which is fantastic. I'm hoping this one will survive long enough for me to be able to do so. <laughs> Which is not ideal, but fine. I'll have to buy temporary replacements so I can save up to get a full upgrade because that's what I was planning on doing eventually anyway. So I guess I'll just have to do that for the time being. But I'm good, Kim, other than that. Like, that's really pissed me off. But other than that, I'm smashing. How are you doing? Sure. We'll buy a piece of the Triforce. All right, cool. Also, for anyone wondering how many pieces of the Triforce are in the pool, there are 23 in the pool, so we need to get 20 of them. Or all six medallions to be Ganondorf. Either one. How are you doing, trainer? But other than that, I'm smash. I'm, I'm smashing. Like, I'm good. I had a good day at work, so can't complain about that. So, can't complain, you know, stuff's, stuff's going. As per the huge. To be fair, other than the fact that my CPU is absolutely balls. You know, I'm doing alright. <laughs> oh, nice. What are you updating it for? Like, what are you going to be playing? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Fudge. I'm not going to deny that, Landon. Majora's Mask is my favorite game of all time. <laughs> I'm not going to dispute that. I know that Majora's Mask is a better game, but I do love OOT. Oh my god, I pressed it up, not left, you dipshit. Jesus. Go up. Thank you. This is also my first time doing OOT Rando with a PS5 controller. So it's a bit more sensitive than I really wanted it to be, but it's fine, I guess. Also, for those watching the stream, don't forget to like the stream, please. It really helps, like, YouTube algorithm. Alright, let's see. What are we doing? Since the last one is sticky trigger. Oh, nice! How much do you do controller cost? And is it official or is it third party? I mean, to be fair, for my PS4, I have a third party one. Like, I have a third party one. It works absolutely fine. Although at the moment, I've been using my PS5 one, so. 
because I, I bought a PS5 controller for the PC because uh, my controllers were all starting to uh, get a bit absolutely screwed up. So. Yeah, replenishes my rupees. Uh, Phantom Hourglass is a is an abomination of nature. I hate Phantom Hourglass. It is by far the worst Zelda game. Spirit Tracks is decent. I like Spirit Tracks. Spirit Tracks doesn't have the same problems that Phantom Hourglass does. They at least fixed a lot of what Phantom Hourglass did wrong. Phantom Hourglass is literally an abomination against nature. I wouldn't I wouldn't whiz on that game if it was on fire. <laughs> That's how bad it is. And for anyone wondering if I'm ever doing a playthrough of that, then the answer is no. <laughs> I will not play Phantom Hourglass. Pretty great from a friend. It's official since the third party controls don't work on my PS4 anymore. Oh, strange. To be fair, though, a lot of people have said that in the past. Like, some PS4s just don't accept third party controllers. Oh, Phantom Hourglass is the epitome of repetition. Like, that that game has so much repetitiveness. Oh my god. Like, like I said, I, I wouldn't I will never play that. I've played through it once and I will never play through it again. It was so boring. Like, I don't think I've actually played a Zelda game and wanted to cry myself to sleep after playing it. Just because of how bad it was. Oh, Wind Waker's banging. I love Wind Waker. Wind Waker's so good. Gonna update and I refuse to accept them. Strange. It's unfortunate, like Landon Joe, because like Phantom Hourglass had the, the, the opportunity to be as good as Wind Waker. Don't get me wrong, you know, the DS has limited hardware, fine. But so did like Game Boy. And Link's Awakening is a really good game. The Oracles are really good games. And despite the fact that there is so much preposterous exposition in Win uh, Minish Cap, it's still a good game. Like, come on. Oh, trust me, Landon, so am I. Like, Legend of Zelda is my favorite series. Majora's Mask is my favorite game of all time. Like, don't get me wrong. There are, to be fair, out of the whole Zelda franchise, if you're, in if you're not including CDI, there are only two games I'm not the biggest fan of. And that's, well, definitely one of them is Phantom Hourglass because that game absolutely sucks. And the Wii version of Skyward Sword. The Wii version of Skyward Sword's abysmal. Oh, what are your thoughts about the movie? I think it could be really good if it's, you know, if it's produced the same sort of style as the Mario Brothers movie. I think it could be really good because Mario Brothers movie was fantastic. I loved it. I hope they keep up with the good work on that and you know if it turns out to be as good as Mario movie, cool. I'm in. Feels like you're speaking a foreign language. Um I mean I'm speaking English. It could be a foreign language to where you are. So the cool third party controller I bought on Amazon I gave a friend since he can use it on his model. That's so strange. Like, I don't understand. The glass was my first game played and it was just amazing for me, but then I played all the others and I'm just See that's the thing. So like I've been playing Zelda since my first ever Zelda game was linked to the past. Nice. Um my first was linked to the past. It was not the first one I beat, it was the first one I played. The first one I beat was Ocarina of Time. And then to be fair, I didn't actually beat Majora's Mask until I was like, ooh, 13, 14. Um and I've been around that age when I beat Majora's Mask. And I didn't fall in love with Majora's Mask at first. It was only when I got into my young adulthood, when I was like 16, 17, that I gave it a few playthroughs and I just instantly fell in love. And then when Randomizer came out for it, I was like, oh my god, okay, let's play that since, you know, OOT is rando and that's really fun. And MM Rando's solid. It's super fun. The only thing is, if I want a more chilled out time, I play OOT rando because OOT rando is a lot more chilled out than MM rando. 85, 25. Well, I'll buy that one now. <laughs> this might not be a long seed at all. I mean, OOT, I definitely beat at a much younger age. I was probably around 7 or 8 when I first beat OOT. But to be fair, like, the Nintendo 64 and PS1 were my childhood. So, 
they were my childhood. Like, I grew up on those, so. I will still argue to this day that my era for gaming was the best one to grow up in because we grew up with such timeless classics. Like, it's the thing that really irks me nowadays because, like, a lot of the youngsters now have had Fortnite and Minecraft and all of that stuff. Mate, I had, like, Spyro the Dragon and Zelda and Mario 64. Like, I'm sorry, but you can't go wrong with that. Play randoms, but multiplayer randoms hit so different. Oh, yeah, multiplayer randomizer. I've done that a few times. That's pretty fun. I mean, I've not done it on stream a few times. I've played it in my own time with friends a few times. That's pretty fun. Oh, the DS was great because <laughs> here's a fun fact. So the Nintendo DS was my first portable console. I never owned Game Boy. Not until much later anyway. Uh, the DS, specifically the DS Lite, was the uh, the one that I had first. And I remember because my mum bought it for me for my, would have been 12th birthday. And with that I got, um, uh, let's go CAC. With that, I got uh, Pokemon Diamond, which is still one of the best Pokemon games. Um, I got Nintendogs with it, because that came with the DS. Zelda Phantom Hourglass. And there was another game as well. I think it might have been Super Mario D uh, New Super Mario Bros. DS. Could be wrong on that, but I think it could be that. And it was such a great birthday, I'm not going to lie. Like, getting those. Oh, I've done quite a few Breath of the Wild randomizers. They're really fun. Um, I cur I've not done a Tears of the Kingdom rando yet because I don't have a modded Switch. And, well, now the Yuzu emulator is shut down, so you can't even access that anymore. I mean, fair. I didn't particularly need that, but okay. Uh, here we go this way. Man, it's actually been a hot minute since I last did OOT Rando. It's been a little while now. Like it's, it's been a good, what, month and a bit, I think, since I last did OOT Rando. I mean, to be fair, OOT Rando is one I do quite frequently. It's definitely my most frequent Zelda Rando, because it's just, for me, it's the most chill. I've done quite a few A Link to the Past and Wind Waker randomizers as well, and they're fun. I like a good Wind Waker Rando. I love a good Link to the Past one as well, to be fair. Illegal Triforce DS is my first console and it came with Phantom Hourglass. Then got Switch. Nice. I mean, obviously, you know, no offense, but I mean, Phantom Hourglass isn't exactly a great game. Spirit Tracks is actually really good, though. Like, I do rate Spirit Tracks as a decent Zelda game. Despite the fact that the, the train mechanics were a little bit strange. Like, it's still a great game. But to be fair, each Zelda game has a gimmick. You know, Zelda, it's like Mario. You know, most main Nintendo IPs, for whatever reason, Nintendo just gives them weird gimmicks sometimes. Don't get me wrong, sometimes the gimmicks are great, like with Majora's Mask, the gimmick of transforming into different um, characters with the masks, and then other masks just having different properties. Again, that works very well. There are other Zelda games that have different gimmicks, like, a link to, um, sorry, Ocarina of Time's Time Travel. Again, it works. A Link to the Past is the Light World Dark World system. Again, works. You know, it, with Mario, you've got Mario 64, where jumping into the paintings is a thing, which works tremendously. Uh, Mario, one that I will argue to the grave is still one of the better Mario games is Mario Sunshine. And the flood gimmick in that is great. Like, to me personally, it's, it's only when the gimmicks get a bit too weird that it doesn't work anymore. So, like, I'm trying to think of a good example with Zelda. See, what happened with Phantom Hourglass isn't really a gimmick. It's having to backtrack so much to the Temple of the Bloody Ocean King. Oh my god, like, why? Why do I have to go there 50 times? And then repeat floors I've already done. Like, Jesus Christ. Talk about making your game artificially longer. <laughs> Oh, strength upgrade. That's nice. Finally, so to add to the tracker. 
Oh, that's if strength upgrades are added. Yes, they are. Very nice. I'm not going to hate against what you say, even though you think differently. Zelda live strong, no matter what we... Oh, of course, yeah. That's the thing. Like, everyone has their own definition on what makes a game good and what makes a game bad. The thing is, right, like, there are so many toxic Zelda fans out there who are like, oh, Ocarina of Time is the best Zelda game because it is. And I'm just sat there like, well, I respect the fact that you think Ocarina of Time is the best Zelda game. It's a stellar choice. But could you give me another reason other than because it just is? Like, there's got to be reason to your rationale here for why it's the best Zelda game. Like, I respect the fact that people have the opinion that Ocarina of Time is the better game. Cool. But if your opinion's just because it is, it's not a valid opinion. You you can't object to someone else's opinion when you don't really have an opinion. <laughs> like, say for example, right? Say, Landon, if you were to tell me that you think Ocarina of Time was the best Zelda game because it has the best dungeons, and I'm like, okay, that's fair. Like, OOT has some really solid dungeons. In fact, Spirit Temple's one of my favorite dungeons in all of Zelda. However... If you were come to me and to just say, oh, it's the best Zelda game because it is, and I'm just like, well, okay, sure, but that opinion's not exactly validated here because you're not really giving me an opinion. Like, you know what I mean? Of course, that's not to say you would say that. It's just using your name as an example. Oh, begging. I needed a stick refill. Yeah, Jade, that's not a problem. I'm doing all right. A bit tired. Had a long, busy day at work. Good day, but busy day. But we're going to chill on some OOT rando, hopefully the next couple of streams, which I'll be happy with. That'll be nice. And then I'll start with uh, Kim's Redemption on Twitch, which was uh, Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga, which I'll crack on with once I've done OOT rando. That's cool, Landon. Thank you. Hopefully I'll see you again at some point. Alright, perfect. So we're at night phase. Uh, is there any point going up here? I mean, yeah. I can get a few bits, so. I can't do too much, but I can get a few bits. What I could really do with finding is bombs. Oh, it actually has, yeah. It's been like a month and a bit. Because I took a long break after the last fiasco with it. Because what was the last one I did? Was that the OOT rando? The, the MM combo randomizer, right? That was the one that went to crap real quick. Yeah, I think that was the last one I did. It was a nightmare. Yeah, this goes went out. Pop the multiplayer on PlayStation for now. Oh, damn, dude. Well, that's not strictly true. You can play multiplayer just on free-to-play games. <laughs> kind of forgot that <laughs> I blew that up. Oh, it was actually, yeah. It was the last pot and grass sanity combo randomizer, which was an absolute freaking nightmare. Remind me to... That was my 2,000 subscriber special, wasn't it? Oh, my God. Remind me to never put those settings on ever again. That went on for literally what felt like five years. I'm not kidding. That went on for so long. <laughs> I literally felt like I was going to need a freaking walking stick by the end of that. Oh, my God. Like, something has never dragged that hard. <laughs> Hey, Wooly, how's it going, dude? Uh, no, we want to go back to Kokiri, don't we? Oh, Ocarina of Time is one of the most classic games. Whenever you ask anyone what one of the most all-time classic games is, they'll, they'll say one of two things. They'll say either Ocarina of Time or Super Mario 64. To be fair, rightfully so. Both are fantastic games. Like, you can't go wrong with a bit of OOT or a bit of SM64. Like, both are just top-notch choices. 
But how's it going today, Wooly? It's about Zora's River. Alright, fair, but I can't access that yet. Um, there actually isn't really too much open left for me as child. I might have to go adult. But even then, there's not really too much I can do, so... I guess it's a bit of a, a bit of a wowzer, but it's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. But no, there are just those series that are just ridiculously nostalgic. This is one of them. That last just OT one was possibly the one I requested. Yeah, I think it would have been, yeah. So I had like two really rough OOT seeds back to back. <laughs> like I had two really rough ones back to back because your one was not a lot of fun either by the end. Oh my god. Yeah, pretty good. Tons of school, but we'll get through it. Oh, of course, dude. I understand. Like, I mean, I've spent all day at work. Like, don't get me wrong. Good day at work, but still been all day at work. <laughs> so it's, it's good, tiring, but good. Well, thankfully, I'm only work at four days this week because I've got this Friday booked off as annual leave, which is holiday. So I've got Friday off, and then I've also got next Monday off because I've got that booked off as well. So I've got a four-day weekend, which I'm stupid excited for. So I get a few days off, I get to chill. Uh, I mean, on the Friday, I'm probably going to go down and see my family. Because it's my mum's birthday the following week, but I can't go down on her birthday because um, I've got to have a root canal done at the dentist, which is not going to be fun. And then I've also got another appointment after that later in the day, so I'm going to be in pain and have to do an appointment, which is great. Um, so I'll probably go down on the Friday. On the Saturday, as far as I'm aware, I've got plans to go into my local town centre to play some Pokemon Go. Uh, because Shadow Mewtwo raids come back out on that day, so I get to uh, go do Shadow Mewtwo raids, which is nice. And then over that span, I've got to get my videos done for the week, which, fine, doesn't take too long. A few hours, which is nice. Uh, and then some chilling. Like, at the minute, I've been playing through uh, Lord of the Rings Third Age on my PS3. Good game, actually. Solid PS2 game. Um, so I might, if I've not beaten it by then anyway, because I've been playing it every day at the minute, like, when I'm not streaming. <laughs> to be fair, it's a good game. A lot of people hate it. I love it. It's just... I think it's chill. But yeah, I've got some stuff planned for those days. And then of course, normal stuff like streaming and... You know, the usual stuff for me. I mean, if I go into my local town centre, like, there's a park that has, like, four gyms in it. I have no doubts I'll find people to do raids with. Where I go, you usually can. It's unfortunate I'd invite people, but you can't. It's a shadow raid. You can't invite into shadow raids. Those are local only. I mean, you could try and spoof your location, but even then I wouldn't risk it because Pokemon Go will probably just ban your account anyway. The problem is, from what I understand, Shadow Mew 2 is... One of the roughest raids you can do, so it's going to require a few people. Oh, I've had one in the past. It's a freaking nightmare. Like, my mouth is going to be on fire the entire day. Not to mention the following day after that, I'm at work. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'll be downing a lot of painkillers that day to get through. Oh. And the worst part about that is I'm on an early, so I'm going to be up at 6 in the morning. So bearing in mind, I'm probably not going to sleep very well the night before that either because of the pain. So it's going to be like, okay. <laughs> that day is going to be so fun. Can't wait for that. <laughs> well, that's going to be just great, isn't it? That's going to go down so well. Especially considering my job is talking to customers over the phone all day, either selling phones or fixing their issues. And I'm just sat there like, okay. 
You wouldn't turn, I'll get three people guaranteed, maybe one rando. I mean, yeah, for Shadow Mewtwo, you're going to need a few more than that. It's like this morning I remoted into a uh, Tapu Lele raid and got a shiny. I'm sat there like, okay, I'll take a shiny. Like, Emily was really pissed off about that because I got a shiny she didn't. That's the thing, though, with America. Oh, Rose Lair. That's the thing with America, though, because there's a lot of space between the cities. I mean, there is over here, too, but there's a lot more cities like uh, that are close together. Like, for example, like, I'm Central England, and I live, you know, by bus. It's ten minutes one way to my local city, and then it's half hour on the bus the other way to another local city that's a big city. So it's like, oh, okay, I can access all of these cities really fast. So, like, if I wanted to go to one, I could. If I wanted to go to the other, I could. It's, you know. Like, if I really wanted to, I, I definitely could. And that's the cool thing with that. I suppose it really just depends on, I mean, I guess, if I need to, because, like, I'll probably go into my local city for it, because I could go into the major city, but the thing is, there are so many gyms that it's going to be almost impossible to get into at least one raid because of just how many people are going to be there, too. There's, like, thousands of people there every hour. Like, you can guarantee that a bunch of them are playing Pokemon Go, especially when Shadow Mewtwo is out, because it's on a Saturday. Like, and the schools aren't even active at the minute anyway, because it's the uh, Easter holidays for most schools. So they get two weeks off. I mean, I feel like that's fair, though. Like, if you don't live there, why would you really want to go there, you know what I mean? I mean, I can sort of understand that. Well, at least we're almost at 10 skulls. Okay, iron boots. I mean, they don't really open up much of anything right now, but... Oh, wow, Ocarina. God damn. I mean, to be fair, Ocarina doesn't open much of anything right now either. <laughs> uh, and then Iron Boots. Oh, trust me, I know. Like, tonight after work, I got an Uber because I missed my bus and I wasn't waiting an hour. Like, hell no. And I couldn't be bothered to walk, so I Ubered it. It's like seven pounds for a five minute journey. I'm just like, are we kidding? You're literally charging me more. Like, it's more than one pound per minute. I'm like, dude. <laughs> Next time I will just walk if it's going to cost me that much. Crap. Like, I don't want to be spending that kind of price on an Uber. <laughs> Not particularly. I'm sorry, but my name's not Elon Musk or Baron Rothschild. I don't have, like, that kind of money every day. And if I was to Uber both ways, bearing in mind, I didn't even go all the whole way because I went to my local Tesco's before I came home, like, to where I work, which is a 10-minute walk. I Ubered from there. So you factor on the extra distance, it's going to cost me, like, eight, nine pounds to Uber from home to work. That'd be 18 pounds per day when I could just do two buses for four pounds. Like, and people wonder why they're not you people over here don't use Ubers as much because it's so expensive. Like, why would I waste money I don't have? Like, it's so dumb.
Exactly, Jade. I'd be using all my wages just to go to and from work. Like, I'm sorry, I don't get paid to just travel to and from work. <laughs> like, I don't just get paid for that. <laughs> like... Well, to be fair, I'm glad because I don't have any birthdays to buy for now. The next birthday I've got to buy for is... Oh my god. Thank you. Like, the next birthday I've got to buy for is my girlfriend's... Oh, Lyra's. Damn. Which I don't know what I'm buying her, so... Uh, Lyra's. Yeah, literally, right? Because I think Uber drivers get discount on Ubers, don't they? So it's like, you can only really afford an Uber if you are an Uber driver. It's terrible. But don't get me wrong, like, I have good wages at work. Like, the wages are not an issue. Like, the wages are actually really solid where I work. Very competitive, especially by today's day and age. It's just, it's so irritating. Da-dun. 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 Okay, we're up to five hearts now at least. I mean, I'll take it. And that didn't want to take so much, but okay. I mean, I'm running out of places to check. I'm not going to lie, because I, I don't have a single song. So my ocarina's kind of pointless. Dude, don't. I turn 29 in a little over a month. <laughs> Like, I already feel old as crap. <laughs> like, I already feel so old. Like, I legit don't feel like I can feel any older at the minute. Like, I'm going through a thing where I'm just tired all the time at the minute. Like, god damn. Like, I'm never awake awake. I'm always just, that's it. Sort of, I could, I wake up in the morning for work and I could just go back to bed because I'm just so knackered. I mean, what doesn't help me is I'm a very restless sleeper. Like... I don't get a, I don't usually get a good night's rest when I'm sleeping. That's what told me yesterday, as soon as they hit 30 everything hurts and as a rejecting existence. Not quite, no. It depends on who you are, but to be fair, I hurt, I hurt every day now. <laughs> like, I don't think it could get any worse, if I'm being honest. Oh, he isn't here, is he? Like, I legit feel I don't think it could get any worse. Magic Beats and Goron. Future in the Market. 40 skills is a Fire Temple key. 
Dodongo says double defense. All right, that's kind of interesting. Also, for anyone wondering which checks are not in logic, it's the same as usual. Fishing is not in logic, and Tempic Pose is also out as well. I don't do any. I don't do either of those, but everything else is fair game. Oh, I have a few places giving me issues. My neck, my back, uh, my left foot, because that's the one I broke three years ago. And it's still giving me crap to this day. Like... You knocked on wood. <laughs> I mean, I'm knocking on wood. I don't develop any new medical problems for the foreseeable future, at least. You know, I actually want to keep this job. I mean, don't get me wrong. My last job absolutely sucked. But the reason, one of the main reasons I left was because of how bad my health was at the time. Like, it was terrible. Are there any checks here at night? I don't think so. No, we want to wait till daytime. Sorry, I'm just gonna you speed up. I mean, the thing is, at this point, I've learned with life is things happen. They things just happen, you know. Like some new random crap ails you, and it's it's one of those things. It just happens. Like you can't prevent it. All you can do is manage it in the here and now. You know, it's kind of one of those things. Like. If medically something goes wrong with me again, and, you know, I can't work again, it is what it is. Like, I'm not going to get stupid depressed over it. Don't get me wrong, it would still feel crap, because I love this job. But, at the same time, if something were to happen, what can I do except try and deal with it? You know what I mean? It's the same sort of thing, like, if, for example, I don't know, like, you know, my CPU gives out before I can replace it. Okay, fine, I can't use my PC for a couple of weeks. I mean, don't get me wrong, it would suck, it would, it would actually blow, because, you know, I like recording my videos, doing my streams, and everything else. But at the same time, there's not really much I can do to prevent it. So, it, it's kind of just one of those things. Hey, Jacob, how's it going, dude? Like, it's kind of just one of those things. I can do what I can, but I can't do anything else until I get paid again. Which isn't until the 11th of April. Nice, dude. How's work going? Oh, yeah, I can get this because beans, beans are already planted. Dope. Oh, nice. Do you get paid on the weekly then? I want to play Gunfire Reborn, but can't find anyone to play with. I mean, Gunfire is a good game. That's not too bad, Jacob. What are you treating yourself to?
I'm not gonna lie, I would low key love to get weekly paychecks, but at the same time, no, I'd hate it. I do prefer getting paid on the monthly. But I suppose it depends on the kind of person you are. Like for me personally, I love I, I prefer managing monthly money than weekly. Weekly money I just find too stressful to handle. It's like when I used to claim government benefits and I used to get paid every fortnight, like I get paid every two weeks. And whilst that was okay, like I prefer monthly money because it's just, it's easier to manage in my opinion. That's cool, dude. Treat yourself to YouTube Premium's nice. Oh, nice. I don't know what inscription is, but nice anyway. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of inscription. I have no idea what it is, so... I can't really comment on that. I'll tell you guys one thing that does me in at the minute though is because of my sleep pattern I have to take my last bit of medication really early and the problem with that is they knock me out <laughs> like they make me so tired bomb tree bag nice oh it's bomb tree's 10 pieces never mind blue fire arrows are 50 those are 60 I think I can't buy those. Oh, I can? Oh, sweet. Banging. I will take that. Oh, god damn. <laughs> There's the third wallet. Okay. Wait, what? That's zero? Fair. I mean, that's also quite fair, Jacob, to be honest. Like, I'm not going to lie. I kind of hate YouTube when you don't have premium. It's just so annoying. There are just ads everywhere. You just can't be dealing with it. It's just too much. Oh, come on. Are we kidding? I just bought a bomb tree bag and just ended up with bomb bag anyway. Cool. Zero can be a price option. Yeah, if you set it to random pricing. Like, if you set it to random pricing, it can be an option. That's a weird thing, Jade. It's just my normal settings. It's very... Oh, wow. It's very rare I actually get an easy mode seed. It might not be easy mode for very long, because, you know, it could go to crap real quick, but... Within the next few weeks, I'm preparing a Thousand Year Door remake. Nice. I want to get that at some point myself, to be honest. I love Thousand Year Door. I mean, I haven't done a playthrough of Thousand Year Door in about... 10 years, but I remember it being very solid. Like, it's one of the best in the Mario RPG series. At some point, I still need to get Mario RPG Remake, because I really want to play that. I mean, maybe eventually if it goes on sale, but... 
Problem is, Nintendo games don't typically go on sale very often. And when they do, it's not by much. I mean, coming out this year? Not really, no. Same for me. I don't think there's anything coming out that I'm desperate for. If anything, the bulk of the games I want to buy came out last year. <laughs> But the bulk of the ones I want came out last year, so. I just haven't had the money to buy them yet. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> nah. Let me Pokemon Legends if that comes out in general. I can speculate. I mean, I would, but... I'll wait for reviews on that. Someone will get signed. Wait, I thought you already owned Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Alright, why'd you want the other one? drop? Nope. No. Didn't think so somehow. I mean, fair enough. <laughs> well, at least until they release a new new one, anyway, which is probably going to be that Pokemon Legends game that they've spoken about. At some point, I've got to buy Legend Arceus, because from what I've heard, it's a really good game. I've just not had the need to pick it up. I'll pick it up at some point and play it. Well, that's another one of those of when I've got the money spare, but even then, there are other games that are ahead of it on my list. Probably skyrocket in the future. Too. I mean, yeah, probably, yeah, trainer. So I can use Scarlet for challenge run as well. That's my access to my account. Oh, that's fair. At least then you'll have both versions, so you can at least play one of them. I mean, Switch account, I game share with Gold. That's if Gold still has access to mine. I'm not too sure if he does. At one point, me and Gold were game sharing. Oh, hello. Something in bomb chest? Oh, nice. I'll take my shield. Oh, 
Let's have a little ganda. Key for water. I have keys for most of the dungeons now. Oh, Nocturne of Shadow. Nice. Really solid warp song, actually. For generations of chosen the grass starter. I mean, for most Pokemon generations, I choose the grass starter. Because Gen 1, I do. Uh, Gen 2, I don't. Gen 2, I always pick Typhlosion, usually. Uh, Gen 3, I pick Sceptile. Gen 4, I choose Torterra. Um, Gen 5, I go with Embor. Uh, Gen 6, I went with Chespin. Gen 7, I went with, um, oh, what's it called? Um, the one that goes into Decidueye, I can't remember what it's called now for the life of me. Rowlet. And then Gen 8, I went with, um, Rillaboom, or the Grookey. It's the one that goes into Rillaboom, isn't it? So like nine times out of ten, I choose the grass starters because I'm I have more of an affinity for them. I think it's funny because when I mention that, I always piss off all the Charizard elitists or Fire type elitists, and I'm just like, they're like, dude, there are other typings of the fire. <laughs> to be fair, my favorite starter. Pokemon aren't even from the main series from Colosseum, which is Umbra and Espeon. I love the fact that in those games you start with those two because it's two different typings. Like, it's not your standard, you know, grass, fire, water stuff. It's Dark and Psychic Star, which is actually really interesting. Because it makes for a much different dynamic in the early game. Oh my god, break the pot, thank you. Like, it does make for a much different dynamic in the early game. Also, for those watching the stream, don't forget to like the stream, please, or it helps with YouTube algorithm. Hey, piece of the trifles, though. I believe your console is still set as my primary console giving access to the good. No, I know you do. <laughs> like, I see you do it all the time. Get out of it. Also, like the stream if keys are the most annoying enemies in all of Zelda. See, the only generation I really picked the fire start on purpose is Gen 2. Because, I mean, Meganium really isn't that great a grass type. And unlike for Alligator, I just think in the other generations, he, get abs he gets absolutely wombo comboed because his moveset is terrible. Wow, I got Stone of Agony, guys. Such a great item there. I don't remember buying a collection of mana, but I did. I mean, again, he probably just saw it on a sale and was like, you know what? I'll pick that up, because why not? <laughs> ah, wrong combination of buttons. There we go. Meow. Alright, and King the Dunno defeated. Are we going to get anything interesting from this? Probably not. <laughs> this is probably going to be a big fat pile and nothing. Tail hunting time. Fair. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Alright, what we got? Hey, look, Bigfoot Pile of nothing. Who'd have guessed that? <laughs> like, who'd have guessed that he got a big fat pile of nothing? Oh, yeah. This guy right here. What's that, Jacob? Oh, 
All right, let's take a quick look into. Yeah, Bab. I mean, I was gonna use the TV, but if you want to use play Fortnite, go for it. So I'm gonna end stream soon anyway, cause I'm tired. Damn, that's really good, damn trainer. To be fair, a Lego game going down by that much is incredible. To be fair, Skywalker Saga, solid game. It's definitely my favorite Lego game. Well, no, Bob, if you want to play Fortnite, go for it. I'll just sit there and watch stuff on my phone. I don't mind. I've never actually played Mother 3, although I've heard it's really good. To be fair, in the Earthbound series, the only game I've actually played is Earthbound. Oh, nice. I mean, to be fair, a Square Enix sale is absolute fire. You can't go wrong with a bit of Square Enix stuff. Like, you could never go wrong with a Square Enix sale. Like, Square Enix are just a fire company. Like, it's so good. Don't get me wrong, they've made some missteps over the years, but what company hasn't? Like, you know, no company is, no gaming company is perfect. Well, I might as well pick it up. I probably should, yeah. I might give it a go at some point. See what I think to it. I mean, to be fair, it's been a long time since I last played an Earthbound game. It has been a long time since I last played any kind of Earthbound. I mean, considering I've only played the first one anyway. It has been a very long time, so I might give that a shot at some point. I mean, to be fair, over the years, I've heard that Mother 3 is a great game. I've just not played it. But I've heard it's a solid game. I mean, to be fair, I find it difficult to get excited for Nintendo Directs at the minute because there's not really anything being announced yet that's making me more hyped for them. But don't get me wrong, there'll probably be something announced in the next Direct. It's just because it hasn't been announced yet, I'm not really hyped for Direct at the minute. play this want to go get some tacos or something i wish i really wish there was a taco bell near me and there just isn't it feels bad how much it's if anyone wants that can't see how much i'd say because i own it again okami's a decent game don't get me wrong like it's it's one of those where the hell do i go kind of games but it's still a good game this is another forest key no, that's spirit okay I think I've got at least one key for all the major dungeons now. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I've got three for forest already. Damn. That's actually a mad amount of keys, I'm not going to lie. Right, but that's going to make me done for tonight, guys. I'm sorry for the short stream, but I didn't get home from work till late, so I'm working late this week. So I'll continue this tomorrow. Um, so hopefully we'll get more Triforce pieces. If you want to see more like this, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notifications if you're on my socials. Those are linked down below. Don't forget you can also support the channel further by becoming a channel member from as little as 99 pence per month in the UK. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.